When he was ready to cast the statue, Leonardo found out that the Duke had given all the bronze that he collected for the statue to his father, and his father had used it to make cannons to defend Milan against the invasion of King Charles VII, that was then the King of France. Hi, this is Anita with 5 Minutes with Art, where in about five minutes, I tell you something interesting and fascinating that I have learned with art. Recently, I've been studying a bit about the Renaissance, and in particular, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and Raphael. And a question a lot of people ask, did Raphael, Michelangelo, and Leonardo ever meet in person? And the quick answer to that is, yes, they did. But I want to tell you a bit of a story that I find is just so fascinating between Leonardo and Michelangelo. And it's basically is has to do with Leonardo and his horse that he did. Leonardo and his friend Giovanni were one day walking in Florence. And there they saw this outside this bank, they saw a group of intellectuals that were discussing Dante. And they must have walked past them and the intellectual asked Leonardo and asked his opinion, said, what do you think about it? And at that moment, Michelangelo came. You have to remember, Michelangelo was probably about like 20 years or so younger than, than Leonardo da Vinci. So Leonardo da Vinci at this time, you know, he was older, he was established, people knew him. And Michelangelo was just kind of just getting started. And um, it says that, you know, Leonardo kind of turned to Michelangelo because there seems there, before this point, there was some hostility between them. And he said, Michelangelo will be able to tell you what it means. You know, and he could have just kind of said that out of the blue because maybe he didn't want to get involved. Maybe he didn't have time to talk. And he just thought, oh, Michelangelo is coming and he can tell you what it means. And then Michelangelo, he, he must have understood some hostility in Leonardo's voice. And then he spoke back and he said to Leonardo, to the um, group, you know, explain yourself, you horse modeler, who is unable to cast a statue in bronze, so you're forced to give up your attempt. So this, of course, was really a direct insult from Michelangelo to Leonardo's ability to be able to cast a statue in bronze. You know, but the story is not quite as clear as that. And and obviously, Michelangelo was purposely trying to make uh, Leonardo lose face into basically saying, I'm the better artist here because I can do these wonderful bronze statues. You know, Leonardo was given a commission in, in 1482 um, by a Duke of Milan, and it was to be the largest equestrian statue in the world at the time. And it was commissioned to be in, in the memory of the Duke's father, and so the Duke collected tons of bronze to be used for the statue. You know, Leonardo drew out the statue. He studied horses. He wrote a treatise about horse anatomy. So he really did his homework on this. And by 1493, he had cast a full-size clay model of this horse statue. And it was put on display at this prominent wedding there in Florence. And this all added to his fame that, you know, he had this beautiful horse statue that was done. So Leonardo also sketched out how to assemble this very large statue. And, you know, in true Leonardo fashion, he really went into detail for this horse statue. It was going to be eight meters or about 26 inches high. And it was in December in 1493, he wrote and he said he's finally ready now to cast this bronze statue. When he was ready to cast the statue, Leonardo found out that the Duke had given all the bronze that he collected for the statue to his father, and his father had used it to make cannons to defend Milan against the invasion of King Charles VII, that was then the King of France. So to add an insult to this, is when the French came in to the Milan, the clay statue of the horse was used as target practice by the French soldiers. So when they invaded Milan in 1499... So, and then later, this clay statue became completely destroyed with rain and other elements. So, you know, even though Michelangelo insulted uh, Leonardo, you know, it wasn't quite true in this insult because the fact of the matter was that Leonardo had the ability to make the statue. It wasn't that he didn't have the ability to make it. It's just that the commission was lost or the commission was gone because the Duke basically had used the bronze and the commission was no more. But he did all of his work for this. He he did his homework. He drew it out. He did the clay statue. And then, then to add insult to injury, the soldiers used it as target practice.
So I would assume that 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 insult must have really hurt Leonardo. And of course, Michelangelo was also insulted and hurt by what Leonardo had said to him. So the short of the story is that Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael did know each other, and that actually Michelangelo and Leonardo were considered a great rivals. They did not like each other. And it also seems that Raphael and Michelangelo did not like each other. But on the other hand, it does seem like Leonardo and Raphael did get along. This has been Anita with 5 Minutes with Art. If you get a chance, check out our blog that we have about this on anitalouiseart.com. We'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for being part of our community. And if you have any thoughts or questions, we hope that you'll subscribe and give us a comment, give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate you. Thank you so much for listening.